Day 102. Welcome back everyone to Freeburg. Here we are, this is the police. Freeburg Tribune, tainted blue velvet party cookies can cause convulsions. Golden Bird radio stations face additional tax, and the fact Freeburg's number one paper, study finds stray dogs more dangerous than sharks. I was going to say snacks, but sharks. Uh, City Hall, we are one out of three, which is meh. Nah. Mafia and police station, three out of three. Look at that, sharing that cash last time has certainly bucked up the attitudes of our staff, unsurprisingly. A buzz of a feather, flock together. I'm too tired. Can I do you? You yeah okay. You can uh, you can have a day off. Uh, Percy, don't don't let me down. It looks like the janitor hasn't come around to clean the toilets today. I don't know about you, but I I care about the cleanliness of my in of my intimates. Um, can I go home? No, I don't care about your cleaner. I think I've got to feed my fish back. Purdy, you are an outstanding officer. Your fish will survive. Sometimes it's good to help give your fish a starve day. It helps them clear out their uh, intestines and stuff. Honestly, what's wrong with people? I give them loads of cash from the cocaine, co co the cocaine, cocaine sales, and all they want to do is uh, bust my balls. Right, small business protest. Last year, we actively fought against the unregistered business activities and grey companies who shamelessly use loopholes in the law. We've tightened some rules, making it more difficult for fraudsters to rent business premises and import goods into the city. Of course, they immediately became outraged and threatened to form a protest under the windows of City Hall. We must teach these parasites to respect the law. Permission for these for the use of force is granted if required. Okay, City Hall. Uh, sorry, the Mafia. We've got eight grand. Let's share that with the staff because we're going to ask them to go and break some skulls by the sound of it. Here we are. Small business protest. Around 80 entrepreneurs and representatives of small business have surrounded City Hall, shouting, Rogers is a business killer. Right, let's send in some cops. And the paddy wagon. Oh, and we've got to send SWAT, apparently. Protection. Jack, the mayor is acting illegally in the interest of his friends from the major corporations, which are... Literally destroying our community small businesses. Many of these initiatives are contrary to federal law. And if the police end up using force, then you will be one that takes the rap. You better cover your ass in case things get ugly. Uh, so we can... 30 grand, we can put evidence against Chloe Numata. She's not a bad officer. Uh, we'll retroactively use the random officer... Uh, some shares in one of the companies that would benefit from the closure of a small business or evidence against Christopher G. Sands Oh, we'll sell the matter out. Uh, yeah, we'll sell. We'll buy that. We are 30 grand down, but at least we've covered our back uh, Oh, Kendall. I'm not sure when he died But we'll be greatly missed. Bye. Right The high school the high school principal called to report that an altercation with occurred with the school's cafeteria Hey you, fat cow, where's your udder? Yelled uh, Miguel Marquinhus, Marquinhus to Emma Hadzik. My goodness, are these names getting harder for me to read? They really are. Uh, as she passed by his table at lunch today, Emma blushed and then lashed out with uh, the offender. The teachers don't know want to interfere. Miguel had it coming. Yeah, and what? Oh, go on, you go. Oh, come on, you can't deal with kids. Take a Sarno, sour-faced lady that she is. Right, police impersonation. Jezebel Escanalanti was walking in the park earlier and saw a strange man dressed in a police uniform. He was going around yelling at people, showing them his gun and threatening everyone. He ran over to the dogs and rolled around in the grass. He's clearly not in the right mind and he was scaring everyone. Frankly, I don't think he's even a real cop. You sure that wasn't Percy? Hmm. Magnamara Jr., Percy, you go and check it out. It's probably one of Percy's friends, to be honest with you. Right, investigations. We haven't... Oh, it's this one again, isn't it? We always assume he's been killed. Don't we? That's... I always... Maybe he's just gone to the hotel, like they said, and the twins are actually the prostitutes. So if he, well, we know he has the, the leave the house. We know he asked his boss for money. Um, and they had an argument. 
What if he left the house and went to then got costed by the twins and then went to a hotel? Clearly that didn't happen. Maybe he was accosted by the twins and then he left? No. Maybe he wasn't accosted by the twins. Maybe... Well, nothing else fits there. It's got to be... With that, surely he's got to go with that because they're sinister. But that we know that doesn't work. So... Maybe it's that? No. He argued with his boss, he met the twins, he left, went to a hotel. Motel, hotel, motel. Unless it was his brother, because we know he went to Eddie's Burgers. And he had an eviction notice, oh I don't know. Maybe the twins are watching him when he went to this, no he wouldn't, he wouldn't. Oh! Oh, what, um, Eric Murray, he's never had any problems with the law in the past. Lucia Bergman, well known in certain circles as money lender, he always gets his money back, whatever. It, what did I, what was it? I didn't actually see what the, the road one was. It was just random. Um, hurrah! <laughs> but what, what was the actual picture sequence? I was just playing with him at the, anyway, uh, seeing the police, the man walks, up close and salutes. His outfit is obviously from a costume ship. The gun looks real though. Um, uh, yeah, officer, you urgently need the police station. I'm afraid it can't wait. Magnamara, Percy, offender caught, officers unharmed. Well done. Well played. Well played. Suppress the protest by force? Now, City Hall don't like us, so yes, we're going to do it by force. We've got Mission from God, which is that drug dealer. Right, so we've got. Where are we going to look for Eric? Oh, damn. Um, Newbury's on holiday today, or he's got the day off. Um, send him to the motel? I think, yeah, we, we think he's gone to the motel, so we'll send our two be best cops to the motel. Fight report. Revek, Asano. Good job, guys. Good job. Get back quick. Uh, we got mission from God here. You've got 40 seconds, so we're okay. Um, Mr. Boyd, have a long turn to blind down to the activities of the woman clinic, which in essence is an abortion clinic for sluts. Happily, the management humbly recognised their sin and delivered to the church plenty of nutri um, nutrients necessary for the preparation of a divine powder. But recently, the hospital replaced its chief doctor and he refuses to continue honouring the arrangement established by his pious predecessors. Fortunately, I was able to quickly find an alternative supplier and our pro uh, production was not affected. However, this upstart doctor needs to be taught a lesson in Christian humanity. Humility. I'm sure you have the people who can cut out the man's pride with a scalpel. Okay, I don't mind missing that one, to be honest with you. Uh, we got a bomb threat. Here we go. Hello, sir. This is the police. Um, is this police? There's a bomb in the elementary school. The person who's calling in the threat had a high, clear voice. There was some interference in the background with a Signal was lost. I wonder if that's like a... They've picked up like a... A kid's gaming headset. I say kid, I'm a gamer. So, Ellis and McSparkly, you go. Okay, take Songo. Eddie's Burgers is hosting an annual fry eating championship. A police presence required. No matter, Percy, off you pop. We got him! Offender court! Excellent, right. Oh, okay, hang on. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, detectives. We'll put everyone onto this one, try and get some more clues for that one. We're waiting for um, something to go down. Oh, another thing at the hospital, a theft. A drug addict at the rehab centre stolen 
expensive respirator and locked himself in a closet. The nurse tried to reason with him, but he just hugged the apparatus and insisted it was his property when the hospital employees tried to help him. Uh, he grabbed a knife from his bucket and stabbed one of them in the shoulder. All right, Magnamara, take Asano and Rebek. Bomb threat. Uh, police searched the school and no bomb was found. The school schoolgirl by the name of Lily Austin had decided to disrupt school today. Hopes of avoiding tests she had studied for. We're going to let that one roll. I'm not worried about that one. Do we not catch this guy? I thought it said offender court, so... Ah, are we after the money lender and the missing person? Uh, I should have read it probably, maybe. Magnamara, Sana, Reva, offender court, officers and harm to the theft at the hospital. Good. Well, we got theft at the everyday mall. Uh, we'll just wait. Oh, we got some officers. We might as well send them. The guard at the large toy store detained a boy who he suspected of theft. I'm sure he stuffed something down his pants, but I couldn't find anything. The little thief won't stop crying. Come over quick. Okay, we'll send two guys. And we'll keep Alice just in case somebody calls for backup. Missing person. Offender court. Well done. Get some more points. You were able to arrest all suspects. Excellent. Good job, everyone. Case closed. And we've got drug trafficking. Okay, we need some people to come down for that one. So let's... Is everyone on this now? Only new Bree who's actually off at the moment, but... Okay, we're going to wait for Kochi and Purdy to return. And they can head up the drug trafficking. Received anonymous tip today. Later this evening, a large shipment of herring will be arriving at the port. The cargo is well guarded, and according to the source, the drug runners won't be giving up without a fight. So, boop, 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 boop. We're gonna, we're gonna force it, absolutely force it. Well, here we go. City prosecutors have reason to believe that you seriously exceeded your judicial powers during today's protest. You were, we're calling for you in official questioning on October the twenty-sixth. Okay. 9 and I don't think we're going to have officers back in time to do this one. Uh, boy didn't steal anything. The child's mother really scolded the guard. He took a uh, frightened son back home. But we might have Songo and McSpankley back. 11 11 8. Oh, just. Kevin's throat bar. The bar's owner reports that his bartender was attacked by a patron. The bartender refused to serve the customer because he looked too young and wouldn't show his ID. So the guy got mad, jumped over the counter and smashed a bottle of whiskey, and now he's threatening me into the bar, mate. Okay, so I'll go, thingy, off you go. Drug trafficking, the entire team, fender caught, officers and harmed, heroin found. Yay! Oh, I, was me I meant to bring that back to the police station. Honest, I did. Honest, I did. But we could use the money. Good. Right, get those guys back to the station. In Unlawful assembly, child molestation report. We got some more. Okay, let's see if we can ace this one. Here we go. So, um, child molestation. My mother and I... Oh, this is the victim, Michael Song. Mother and I were about to leave when Father Huber came up. He took me into his office and told me to read the sermon on the mount out loud. He bowed his head, sat down, he put his arm around my shoulders... And as he undid the top button of my shirt, I didn't like it, but I didn't say anything. A little lady pulled out his camera and began taking pictures while I read. Um, so that's him reading the book, is it? And put, and then hands on the shoulders. Then he took out the camera. Um, they started to take peas while I read. Then he put the camera away and began unbuckling the belt on his pants. Ooh. I'm not sure what he's. What's that? I'm not sure. Oh, hang on. What is this? Oh, that's that's a police officer there. No, it's not going to be that one, is it? Um. Okay, Mrs. Song. Michael uh, had his choir and had been rehearsing here. For a long time, recently sat in front of the congregation. Everyone applauded and praised Jesus. Afterwards, Father Huber came to talk to us and said that he wanted to pray with, my with Michael 
God gave him such an angelic voice. Father Hubert said that he would drive Michael home and he could go along with the Holy Father. Okay, so maybe he took Michael away, then they read, then he got his camera out. Okay, the boy shows no traces of sexual violence. That's good. Uh, we found several Polaroids of the boy. It's not really a Polaroid camera. Um, from the choir in Aaron Huber's office, some of the shots are particularly... Oh, sorry, partially or completely naked children. That's not good. Okay. He started undoing his shirt, then he did that, maybe. And Mr. Song, uh, I had to leave in the middle of the performance. There's a ton of work in the office, and I won't leave my son at church for another second. No more choir for my car, I'd rather sing in the rock band. Right, okay, we just don't know then. This could be... We're not, we're not actually... What's going on there? Oh, he's just standing back in the distance. Okay, fine. Um, so there's Michael running. I don't know what that is, but maybe he got that out. Under his shoes. No, no, we don't have the frames, I don't think. Assault with offensive weapon. Behind the bar, a young guy with a piece of glass in his hand. The frightened bar bartender in his ears. Hey, buddy, let's uh, get you out of here. We've got a bottle of whiskey in the car. Order a drink. Hit the man with a nightstick. But there's the one, only one option there. Songo. Oh, you, we should have hit him harder. Ah. They didn't go maximum force. Unlawful assembly. A crowd gathered in the shadow of the casino, chanting slogans recommended the prohibition of gambling in Freeburg. Gambling's a disease. Uh, or so they keep repeating. Meanwhile, the casino is hired an athletic group of me young men to push back the crude unruly. The unruly crowd. A bit of my dyslexia kicking in there, but never mind. Um, and we'll send the paddy wagon as well. We maybe should have sent Ellis. He looks like a bit of a bruiser, doesn't he? He looks like he's uh, gone a few rounds on a Friday night. Boom. Coming up to 2 o'clock. Just waiting for the end of day. And we should be good to go, I think. Asylum, Magnamara Jr., Ravik, and Paddy Wagon. Good job all around. Good job all around. Excellent. Let's end shift. Well, we've got another shift without losing anyone. Uh, although we may have set um, a little bit of uh, evidence against poor Numata, uh, which I feel quite bad for now because I quite like her. Maybe we should have set it against McSpankley um, or Ellis because they're not as good cops. But um, no, we've done what we've done. Uh, we're just going to have to live with it now. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And join me next time for more Freeburg action in This is the Police. I'll see you next time.